What is up guys, Matt the owner of Tails Channel here bringing you another fan game called Sonic World being shown at Sage 2014. This is an amazing fan game and I can't wait to show you it, so let's get started. The first cool thing about this is you can play as a single player, two members, or three members like Sonic Heroes. And you have a lot of teams like Team Sonic, Team Dark, Team Rose, Team Chaotix, Team Soul, Team Robotnik, and you can even make your own custom teams. But for now, let's go ahead and start with Team Sonic at Seaside Hill. Now the cool thing is, uh, the characters I just showed you aren't all of the characters. There are so many more characters that I will go through uh, later in this video. And all these characters have different abilities, which is really cool. And you can just switch between them because you're in a team. I think that's awesome. So anyways, we were playing as Team Sonic and Sonic can do his regular stuff. He can do the, uh, the kick, he can homing attack. He can also do this awesome thing called a Sonic Boom, which lets you go really fast for a little bit, but then takes a little bit of time to charge up. As you saw there, we did a stomp, and Sonic's pretty much how we played in. Like, they took elements from Modern Sonic and the Dreamcast Sonic and just put them into one, which I think is really cool. So let's go ahead and switch over to Tails. Now, Tails can throw the ring bombs, but he can also do the tail attack like he did in Sonic Adventure, so I think that's really cool. And Tails can get to high places that the other characters cannot, like this secret area right here. So if you really know and explore a level, you can explore these secret places and learn the best way to complete a stage. So let's turn back to Sonic real quick so we can do this homing attack thing. Awesome. There's a grind rail right there, and grinding is really fun in this game. Uh, I think there's a grind rail soon, so I'll show you that later. Now we go up to Knuckles. Uh, Knuckles can punch, obviously. He can also glide. He can do this awesome uppercut as well. And he can also climb up walls, any wall. Like here, you can see we're climbing up a wall. That's pretty cool, and you can do that for any surface. So if you really want to, like, skip through a level, you really can. Because you can just glide and climb anywhere, pretty much. Except for, like, trees and stuff. <laughs> So anyways, I love the camera angles in this game too, they really emphasize the epic factor of, like, running and such. Again, we're using Tails to get to high places, and it's really fun, because this really does feel like a Sonic Heroes type of game. Like, you can use these different characters' abilities to get to different places, and you have to explore. Like, what's the best thing for you? How am I going to complete the stage uh, the fastest? What should I do? Which character should I use? I think that's... I think that's a good idea for a Sonic game. And you can even use custom characters. Like, if I wanted to, which I'll show you later, I could do Mighty the Armadillo, Ray the uh, Flying Squirrel, and Knack the Weasel, also known as Fang the Sniper. I'll show you that in a bit. But really, it's kind of like the classic games in a way, because you have Sonic 3 Knuckles, you have these characters with different abilities, um, that can get through stages in different ways. Um, some have bigger advantages, like Tails, he can fly, but Sonic goes faster. I mean, I think that's a really cool concept to bring to a 3D Sonic game. It's kind of even like Sonic 06 in a way, because each character had different abilities. This is the unbroken version of Sonic 06, how about that? The really good version. <laughs> so anyways, we are heading close to the goal ring. So let's go ahead and touch it. And you also have a results screen. See? Mission clear. We got rings, enemies, time, perfect. I don't know what perfect is. Bonus score and total score. Let's see what grade we got. A C. That's like bad. my school grades. <laughs> so that's good. All right. At least we got through the level. So let's go ahead. And I think I have a cool duo that I want to use. I'm going to use Metal Sonic. And I'm going to use Shadow. Because these um, characters were actually in a duo in Sonic Rivals, I believe, or Sonic Rivals 2? I honestly forget, but who cares? We are at Final Rush. Another cool thing to point out is there's three different soundtracks for a stage. Like if you use dark characters like Metal Sonic or Shadow, you'll get kind of the dark theme. If you play with heroes like Sonic, Tails, or Knuckles, you'll get a hero soundtrack, which I think is Final Chase in this zone, and if you play as like Amy, or Cream, or Big the Cat, there's also a cute soundtrack, that's what they call it, a cute uh, version, 
which plays a completely different song I don't know about it. Whoa, 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 we're falling, we're falling, we're, oh no! <laughs> but, let me go ahead and explain Shadow and Metal Sonic. Shadow can use his Chaos Spear, which is pretty cool. And Metal Sonic can use this electric attack that really affects enemies. It's really cool. And both Shadow and Metal Sonic can do a homing attack, so that's pretty cool. Shadow, though, is the only one who could do a ring dash or a light speed dash or whatever you want to call it. So anyways, we hit the checkpoint and you're going to need, especially for this part, different characters. Like, this is where I would suggest having a flying character because it's kind of hard to maneuver over those platforms. And also, again, with the exploring, you can find cool stuff like these rings and enemies. Use the Chaos Spear there. Yeah, it's kind of hard to maneuver around this space if you don't have, like, a flying or climbing character. But I think we can try because you're going a, we're going a little too fast, so... Kind of hard to maneuver. See, I almost fell. Again, great, great uh, level design. Like, you need different characters to get through the level faster. I think that's amazing. So really quick, let me jump off this spring. And some people have actually had trouble with that, but all you have to do is homing attack the spring and then do a stop, and then you'll get high enough. So there you go. So let's go ahead and homing attack on this enemy, homing attack on this spring. Uh, speaking about the levels, I mean, the levels aren't that long. They're just the perfect length, and I think, um, yeah, they are the perfect length, pretty much. So let's go over here, jump on this ring, and see, we're going to need a flying character over here. I get another reason, um... Why you should really customize your teams, like have one speed character, have one flying character, and have one uh, power character. Because it helps you get through the level so much faster. So let's go ahead and use this alternate route, where we will be going to, I think, a grinding section? Yep, here we are. And we got alternate paths, so if you time it just correctly, you get to go on this upper path, which actually goes faster than the lower path, like in other Sonic games. So that's pretty cool. And there's an... Oh, two Metal Sonics. Whoa. <laughs> Who's the real Faker? <laughs> Speaking of Faker, we got Metal Sonic and Shadow. So, I, I don't I don't know. <laughs> Let's go ahead and break this enemy right here. Go up here. Oh, crap. I forgot. See, only Shadow can light speed dash. So, that was stupid of me. I have to have Shadow do that section. So let's go ahead and switch to Shadow. Go up here. Let's break this box. There we go. Use that spring to get up here. Use that spring and light speed dash. Very good. I think we're almost done with the level. Getting those enemies. And they added balloons. Kind of, <laughs> kind of weird to have in space to have balloons. But I guess when you... Uh, let go of a balloon when he got it as a kid. This is where they go. <laughs> but anyways, we just completed uh, Final Rush. Awesome. And let's see what score we got. A B. That's a lot better. No surprise here. That's really good. Really good. Bs are bees are good. So anyways, I think I'm gonna do that team that I told you before because I would play as a single character. What? I mean, that wouldn't show off the awesome uh, capabilities of this game. So let's do Mighty, Ray, and Fang. Um, these are forgotten characters, pretty much. We haven't seen Mighty, Ray, or Fang in any Sonic games recently. Uh, we saw posters of them in Sonic Generations, like the Wanted posters, but never playable, or even side characters. So, Mighty is basically... Half Knuckles, half Sonic. He goes really fast, but he's very strong, like he is in the comics. He can't do that Sonic Boom thing. Oh, Ray is Ray. Ray right here is one of the best uh, flying characters because he can fly up walls, which I think is really, really cool. Wait, wait a second. The characters just disappeared. What the heck? <laughs> because it's... Oh, man. Oops. Oh, well, dang. Again, this is a demo, so there might be some glitches, but hopefully that's the only glitch we find. Oops. <laughs> but anyways, let's start this uh, stage over. So, let's start over. Uh, Mighty Ray and Knack the Weasel, or it's Fang the Sniper. Again, I already told you about Mighty. Ray can uh, kind of glide, but you can also fly if you uh, press the S button, I think? I don't know but you can fly as well. 
think I'll show you right here. Very good flying character if you want to go very long distances and skip parts of a level. So let's go ahead and change to Fang the Sniper, which actually, fun fact, is voiced by Michael Hunter of Sonic Channel. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So anyways, uh, let's hope I don't die right here. Oh, of course I died. Wow. Of course, of course, I'm just the best. I'm, I'm the best. So let's go ahead and switch to Ray. I think Ray's my favorite character. He can also use that uh, tail attack that Tails can also use. So that's pretty cool. Let's jump up here, use this shortcut. Got that balloon. I think those balloons hold rings, so get as many balloons as you can. Get that checkpoint. So anyways, I hope they bring these characters back in some way, shape, or form. I mean, again, we haven't seen Mighty, Ray, Knack, Bean, which is also in this game. Bean the Dynamite is in this game, which I think is really cool. I'll show you all the characters later again. Um, Bark the Polar Bear was one of the characters. Um, Heavy and Bomb. What else can I... Oh, that, that loop was really cool. Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Come on, come on. Switch to Ray. Switch to Ray. Switch to Ray. <laughs> there we go. See, Ray is a very useful character because he can just fly up walls. Very cool. Again, another reason why you might want to have a team. Because you can have all these different characters with different abilities, and it's really awesome. So anyways, I mean, we haven't seen all these characters ever in a Sonic game besides Sonic the Fighters, Sega Sonic, and Knuckles Chaotix? I think those are the only three games we saw, you know, characters... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sonic Triple Trouble had, um, Fang. I don't remember any other games. They're all in the comics, though. So if you read the comics, you're bound to see Mighty, Ray, Knack, Bean, Bark. All those cool characters from the past. On, I hope they make it back into the games, though. That would be really, really cool. Because I know Mighty Ray went on like an adventure around the world. Might be, might be cool to like have a game around that. Oh wait, Sonic Unleashed was around the world too. So, so never mind. <laughs> I wouldn't want to have the same game twice. Maybe just a game based around Mighty and Ray. I don't know where they have to fight Team Hooligan, which are Knack, Bean, and Mark. That would be pretty cool. All right, so we are nearing the uh, goal ring. So let's go ahead and drop down, hit that go ring, and there we go. Let's see what grade we got. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay, mission clear. 11 rings, 4 enemies, time. Perfect. All right, come on. An E-Rank. Wow. Oh, Ray's voice is weird too. Oh, well. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Down the link is in the description. And before I go, I want to show you all the characters. So let's start with Sonic. Tails, Knuckles, Amy, Shadow, Rouge, Cream, Blaze, Silver, Omega, Espio, Charmy, Vector, Big, Marine, Mighty, Ray, Fang, Bean, Metal Sonic, Tails Doll, and Metal Knuckles. That's a lot of characters. <laughs> So again, download link is in the description, go ahead and try out this game, and be sure to subscribe for more Sage 2014 demos to come on this channel. Alright, see you next time, and have a fantastic rest of your week.